Yo, what's up, y'all? This is Ogacha here with another video game review. Today's game is going to be Saturday Night Slam Masters, created by Capcom, aka Muscle Bummer The Body Explosion. It was created in 1993, and it's also a pro wrestling arcade game, which is created for the CP system created by Capcom. Alright, let's talk about gameplay. The original Slam Masters play like a traditional wrestling game, only the game used a few similar to that commonly used in the fighting game genre. The game uses a three button configuration, grab, attack, and jump. Each character has two special attacks, a non-grappling technique and a finisher. When an opponent's life meter is depleted, he must either be pinned for a three count or forced to submit. Defeating all the other wrestlers result in the winning championship belt, which must been which must then be defended against the entire roster. There are two game modes Modes. Single match where the player fights in a series of one-on-one -on -one battles against the CPU and Team Battle Royale where the player and another partner controlled by another player or CPU competes in a series of two-on-two -two matches. The game features a playable roster of ten wrestlers. Only eight of the characters are acceptable in the single match mode. The remaining two characters, Jumbo and Scorpion, are non-playable boss characters in single match and selectable only in Team Battle Royale. In the games organization, Capcom changed the names of all the characters and modified much of the backstory. Bliff Slam Kovic, the main protagonist of the series. In the Japanese version of the game, Zalef is a Russian wrestler who, is, who trained under Hagar alongside his rival, Gunlock. No such character connection is established in the English version, though. Although Bliff makes a reference to Comrade Zangif in his losing quote, Alex from Street Fighter 3 bears a strong resemblance to Bliff. To Biff. Gunlock. In the Japanese version of the game, Colt, aka Lucky Colt, sorry about that. Also, the character Bliff Slam Kovic is Alekezi Zalov in Japan. Sorry about that. Unscripted. Anyway, back to Gunlock. Gunlock in the Japanese version is named Lucky Colt, and Colt is another apprentice of Hagar and, Z uh, and Zalov's rival. Explain the similar fighting styles. The English version implies a that Gunlock is a relative of Guile from Street Fighter, Street Fighter 2, a character relation that was mentioned again in the Street Fighter the movie arcade game, which is freaking horrible by the way, where it's revealed that Gunlock is Guile's brother. In the English version, of course. <laughs> the Great Oni, aka the Mysterious Buddha, a Japanese wrestler who dresses with a kabuki-like theme. He is apparently a rival of El Stingray. Titanic Tim, aka Titan the Great, a huge English wrestler who uses both his size and strength to intimidate his opponents. His backstory explains that he was once a tag team partner to Birdie of the Street Fighter series. El Stingray, a Mexican luchador who amazes the crowd with his high flying speed and techniques. He's based upon the Mexican wrestler Lismar, who was very popular in Japan. My Hagar, originally one of the main protagonists, main characters from the Final Fight series. The Japanese version establishes that Hagar's appearance in the game takes place before being elected as the new mayor in Final Fight. However, the English version refers to Hagar as the former mayor of Metro City. His daughter Jessica sometimes climbs to the ring to celebrate with him when he wins a match. Alexander the, the Grotter, aka Sheep the Royal. A res an Australian wrestler who has a merciless attitude in the ring. He resembles real-life wrestler Big Van v Vider, King Rastaman, or Missing IQ Gomes. A wild jungle-like man who acts like a beast in combat. He's always a accompanied by his pet monkey, Freak, who happens to be his manager. Jumbo Flapjack, aka Kamala the Bouncer a sadistic wrestler who enjoys making his opponents bleed in this in his time. He is the right hand man of Scorpion. Scorpion, aka the Astro in Japan, the game's final boss and antagonist of the series. The appearance of this character was inspired by the legendary luchador Teddy Bloss, one of the first Mexican wrestlers to tour Japan in nineteen seventy four. Okay, let's talk about graphics. The graphics and the character designs are pretty awesome for its time, especially Mike Hagar and Bliff. Um, oh, I mean Biff, sorry. <laughs> and the music is pretty good as well. Overall, 
Saturday Night Slime Masters is a good wrestling game that's worth the recommendation. I give it a 4 out of 5. This is Olgaji, sign out.